this is somewhat related to the last video I made, in which I talk about reacting violently, maybe only verbally, not necessarily physically, to someone putting something forth that you don't feel comfortable with. I think the people who react the strongest to, for example, homosexuality, are the people who fear that they have some of it within themselves. There's that great Shakespeare quote, I might get this wrong, but something along the lines of, the lady dust protest too much. Maybe it's doth instead of dust. Anyway, basically, you're making way too much of an effort to convince people that you're not like that at all. And really, when you have to make that much of an effort, it's probably partially to convince yourself as well. Again, I think, barring that you live in a community where even the accusation is a big deal, like, you know, if you're in Salem and someone accuses you of being a witch, not today, but back then, you might protest quite vehemently, and that makes sense, because if they think you're a witch, you're gonna burn or drown. But today, I think that it is a sign that you think that it's partially within yourself, and you try to exterminate what there is outside of you that bears aspects of that. For example, homosexuality. Because you fear that if there is if you are among homosexuals, that maybe they will wake that up in you. It's decisions, important decisions, should not be made on a basis of fear. Instincts have to be pondered today, because we're no longer in the wild. We have houses, we don't have to kill our own food. We have to think about if these things still make sense, and yes, some fears are quite irrational. If you think that there is something within you that you have to always you know, restrain. Maybe this doesn't go for everything, and I'm not saying that you should live a hedonistic life. I'm not saying you should just do whatever you feel like, because that doesn't work. And it doesn't make you happy. Trust me, I was a spoiled child. I know. But it is important to sometimes think about if these things are really as bad as we think and sometimes just let go and relax. It isn't a good thing to constantly be holding something back. There is this old fear that if you do let go that there are some things within you that you'll never be able to stop again, that they will just keep going. This idea is before psychology came into being, and certainly before psychology got to be as refined as it is today. I will grant that at the birth of psychology there were still big problems with it, but it was better than what we had before. And yes, there are serial killers, there are serial rapists, but the 
these are not that common. It is a small percentage of the overall population. And it's not like these people just, you know, always gave in necessarily. If you don't give in, it just builds and builds and eventually you can't control it at all. I know that today there are a lot of people where if they maybe did give in, maybe they would turn out to be more towards, you know, maybe not completely homosexual, maybe bisexual. I don't think that you're happy if you don't realize what your own sexual preference is, regardless of your environment. And I hope that in time, sexual preference, regardless of its direction, will just be so socially acceptable that nobody cares anymore. That if you do turn out to be gay, it's fine. You know, that, that people just say, Okay, sure, that's fine. And I know it's easy for me to say as a straight guy. As someone who hasn't had homosexual urges. And that's me being honest, that's not me trying to assert my heterosexuality. I know it's easy for me to say that, you know, that you should come forth, that you should come out of the closet to use that old symbol. At the end of the day, it is your own choice. And I realize that you might face a lot of discrimination. But I do think that if everybody eventually came out of the closet if we could stop all these ridiculous misinformation campaigns eventually it would just be another way to be you know I mean what was it half a century ago that blacks were you know allowed to sit the same place in the bus as as whites, you know, use the same facilities and you know, so maybe it could happen for homosexuality too. That was it for this one.